Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, now let us discuss economic activities in detail. Generally, economics is discussed in three parts. They are consumption, production and distribution. The types of economic activities are classified depending on people's role in the economy. There are three different types of economic activities. First one is production, distribution, consumption. What do you mean by production? Here it is the process of producing goods and services to satisfy human needs or conversion of input into output we call it as production. Anything if you convert into a useful product for example if you convert plastic into plastic chair plastic is very less useful when you convert that plastic into plastic chair then chair becomes more useful so you are adding utility by converting plastic into plastic chair and it is more useful for human beings and they can satisfy their needs of having comfortable seat so this we call it as or this process we call it as production then what do you mean by consumption it refers to using up of goods and services to satisfy their wants if you are th thirsty and if you want to have a glass of water when you consume a glass of water that process or that action we call it as consumption then what do you mean by distribution distribution is nothing but sharing of national income among different factors of production what are the factors of production in the previous class we discussed the factors of production are land labor capital organization when you produce goods and services and if you consider the value of those goods and services that are produced in an economy then we call it as that value money value of all goods and services produced in an economy we call it as national income who contributed or who produced these goods and services all these four factors of production together they contributed or participated in the production of these goods and services and whatever the value they receive that is the income of a nation or national income will be distributed among these factors of production in the form of rent for land rent for labor wages for capital interest and for organizer or for entrepreneur so distribution is a distribution of national income among four factors of production here what do you mean by an economy undertaking economic activities in an economy what do you mean by that? producing goods and services in an economy what do you mean by economy it is a set of framework within which various economic activities are taken place that area we call it as economy you can consider indian geographical area where we are undertaking all economic activities so here economic activities are broadly classified into production consumption and distribution so these activities will be undertaken in this geographical area and this we call it as indian economy so it is an economy means here a framework set of framework where we undertake so many or various economic activities dear students when we discussed the definitions of economics you can recall the leonard robbins definition economics is a study of human behavior as a relationship between end and scarce means which have alternative uses what do you mean by end end is nothing but a human wants so human wants are endless 
What do you mean by scarce means here? A uh, means means resource. That means scarce means. So means here resource. So you have limited resources, unlimited wants. Now the question is like this: Scarcity is the root cause of all economic problems. Explain this statement. Yes, scarcity is the root cause of all economic problems. What do you mean by economic problem? The problem of choice itself we call it as economic problem. Why does problem of choice arises when you make a choice when there is a shortage of resources? When you are wants are unlimited. Let me take example. You want to go to movie and you like to have a dinner in a restaurant. and you need to uh, buy are you like to buy costly dresses but you have a resource that is just enough to satisfy any one of your want not all the wants so in that situation you need to make a choice when you are going to make a choice that choice itself we call it as economic problem so here the question is scarcity is the root cause of all economic problems yes scarcity is the root cause of all economic problems had there been no scarcity there would have been no problem at all most of us want better food clothing housing schooling holidays care etc in our daily life we come across various forms of scarcity for instance long queues at ration shops petrol bunks and um, railway booking counter and so on this is because we do not live in a world of plenty instead we live in the world where the resources that satisfy our wants are not only scarce but they have alternative uses so you can see the problem of choice or scarcity is a root cause for all economic problem because we are not living in abundance but we are living in scarcity so because of this reason we are forced to make a choice and making choice itself is a economic problem when do you make choice when there is a scarcity so scarcity is a root cause of all economic problems not only these resources are scarce but they have alternative uses and even because of alternative use again you have to choose or you have to make a choice for which you have to use that limited resource Dear students if you like please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much